What's up, ninjas? It's a sneaky Saturday, right? Yeah, sneaky it sneaked up on us like crazy, man. So we're here. You guys have seen this uh, property before, and he's going to cut it just a tad bit shorter than what we normally do, but just because we got to aerate and I'll do all the seating. I don't know if you can tell in the mirror, there's my aerator. We've already aerated one yard, pretty decent size yard uh, this morning. Uh, have you guys, here's a trick. So this customer wanted me to, there was a spot in the backyard <clears throat> that he wanted me to till, you know, tilt with a tiller. And I told him, okay, and it's a small spot. It's like right by the porch. And he said, but Nick, but Nick <laughs> there's some gas lines. I'm sure you're not going to maybe till it that low, but he's like, I just want you to be aware that there's some gas lines that are running right in that spot. I was real iffy on that one. I just don't want to be responsible for something going wrong later or something where possibly maybe I could have done or erupted or maybe possibly even hit a gas line. So, and I don't own a tiller to begin with. I actually need to get one. I just, and I've been meaning to for a while. I just have not. Anyway, I told him, this is, this is what I'll do. So this is, this is the part where this is the first time for me and it turned out pretty good. And I wanted to see if any of you ninjas have done this before. I told him, I said, there, that particular area, I can aerate it back and forth about 10, 15 times. When you start to aerate in one spot over and over back and forth, guess what happens? It looks like it got tilled, tilted, tilled with a tiller, tilt, tilt. You get what I'm saying? Isn't that crazy? I'm serious. So I told him, I said, I'm okay to do that if you're okay for, with that. And he was like, hey, if that works, let's do it. And guess what? I didn't get a chance to record, guys. I was just not in the camera zone. I wanted to get that yard done because we had to do the leaf clean up there, the whole front and back before we had, before we got to the air, uh, air rating and all that other stuff. So it was just, it was, we were there for about two hours. <clears throat> anyway, it worked great. It, like I literally went over 10, 15 times, give or take, whatever. And dude, it looked like there was a tiller that came through. It was, it was amazing. I am going to be taking the next whole week off from YouTube. I just am. I just need to take a break. <laughs> okay, but listen, I'm not like disconnecting completely. I will be on Instagram at Saving Green Lawn Care. So if you dare and care to know where I'm at and what I'm up to, or what you know, what I'm doing, Come check us out at Saving Green Lawn Care on Instagram because I'll be I'll be active on there pretty much daily. I do want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are safe uh, with your loved ones and really uh, I think we all have a lot to be grateful and thankful for. It's been one heck of a season for all of us just battling the weather and uh, you know the stress that comes with running a business and finding help and uh, just customers and finances and juggling everything and you know at the end of the day when this is the time of the year you know holidays are coming upon us and it's just a great time to remind each and every one of us and ourselves that uh, we have a lot to be thankful for and that we're still alive uh, you know I always say and I think I've heard this somewhere but if you're breeding you are achieving so as long as you're breeding man you're achieving let's get to this and we'll uh, get back to you. You won't ever change your ways doing what you do. Okay, 
One of the things I wanted to give you an update on is a couple of aeration jobs. I mean, there was about three or four of them and they were really good size that came through this season <clears throat> that were unexpected. Some were new and some were from the customers I already have. And so you add that to what I've already had in my mind and had planned and I haven't recorded every yard guys. There's just no way to uh, record a, every yard that we've done. <clears throat> but you know, the reason I stress that it's important for you to offer aerating and seeding in your business and push it, but really get knowledgeable and know what you're doing before you just take off, right? Do your research <clears throat> because it's really beneficial. And you know, we were just a few minutes ago talking about being thankful you know, um, that aerator, by, by the way, just is, is, it got paid off this, this fall. Okay. So I've had that thing now, what, two months, I'm guessing, I don't know, two months, maybe three, but I haven't used it every month. You know, we've had so much rain and stuff, so I've only used it. I know I've used it two months, so I think I've had it, I've had it two months. I don't really remember. It's just the time is flying so by when you so quickly when you're staying busy. But the aerator's paid for, ninjas. Um, it's one of the reasons I was uh, I thought I was going to, and then like after I was doing my math, it's confirmed. Next year, that's why I'm going to go ahead and start looking into the stand-on blower. And I was looking at the attachment spreader to this aerator. You attach it to the front. And a lot of you on Instagram have pretty much said that it works pretty good. Some of you said that you even own one. I don't know how much it costs or what. I'm actually still going to look into that because I wouldn't mind having two of them while I'm spreading one thing uh, like seed. You know, Sassy could be uh, using the other one to put down something else like lime or, or whatever, fertilizer. But I'm definitely going to look into the stand-on blower and also I'm going to look into the stand-on spreader. Um, just because I think it's going to be even more beneficial and things are going to keep going and grow and, and it's going to speed up things for us. Cause right now the, the thing that takes the longest as far as aerating is sassy spreading, right? Cause he's got to walk the whole property. <clears throat> and so. I just wanted to update you on that, man. The aerator is paid for in two months, three months. I've, I've, I've made such a good amount that not only is it paid for, but I've also paid it off and gotten a lot of profit off of it. And I still have more aerating to do after this week of Thanksgiving. Uh, I got my HOAs, my townhomes. We're going to do a, a fall leaf cleanup when uh, after the week of thanksgiving and then we're going to do the air rating and stuff there as well and i think that's probably going to wrap it up for the year a lot of you are probably wondering by now uh, nick it's november december you're doing it too late and i'm going to remind you it depends where you are and what area T today we're very close to 70 degrees i actually need to take this jacket off i'm hot but it is still keeping me somewhat cool it's nice and fresh when you're moving on the stand on mower and so, or if we have our windows open and I'm driving, it definitely keeps you cool. So I haven't had a chance to take it off, but I, I need to, I'm getting hot. But, so I'm gonna remind you that it depends what area you're in and a lot of people in certain areas can go longer. So just cause you're up north somewhere and you're already been done, uh, you know, just keep in mind, there's people down south and southwest and southeast, whatever that can still keep going. It just really depends on the uh, the weather. <clears throat> but the aerator is paid for. I'm super excited. But most importantly, I am blessed, humble, thankful. You know, I've come a long way, man. Ten years in business and I've got equipment paid for. I've got a brand new truck. I've got a brand new trailer. I've got a bunch of new mowers. I've got more clientele. Met one of the, if, the best uh, employee ever, uh, who is a great help. I've just, it's just been quite the journey in the 10 years and I've come a long way. You know, I started this thing with just, uh, old beat up truck and a crappy beat up trailer and a dream. And, you know, 
when I look back and all the stuff that I've went through, work, employees, customers, the things that I've tackled and taken on just to grind and make that money, um, just because I, I, I wanted to succeed and I still do and I still have that in me. It just, it's my passion and I, I've, I've come a long way, man. I really have. It's, uh, it's been quite humbling experience. I love the fact that I can look, you know, look back and, uh, thank you. Stop making noise. I love the fact that I can look back and really see the progress that I've made and how long I have, uh, I've come a long way. Um, even like my wife has really seen me makes such a tremendous amount of uh, effort and, and seen the progress that I put in and, and that I've accomplished. And it, it's, it's, it's a really humbling feeling and it's a blessing. And so I'm really excited to see where my next five, 10 years is going to be uh, from here on out and what this company is going to turn into and what am I going to do? And uh, you know, what, I, what other equipment am I going to get to make the life, make my life easier out here and the people who are working for me make their life even easier. Um, it, it's just really, I don't know if sometimes what I record here and there uh, even gives you guys the, the, even the slightest bit of idea of how much we do out here and the kind of uh, yards we have and the things that we do maybe maybe some of you understand and, and get the idea but some of you maybe not because all you see is about 10 15 20 minutes of video a day i try to do it daily but uh, out of a 10 12 hour day that that really you know that's that's not much ninjas you know you're you're seeing 20 15 20 minutes of a 12 hour day so I, don't know. I wanted to share that with you, especially it's this time of the year. It's uh, really be thankful where you are in your business. Uh, look back and never forget where you came from and uh, the journey that you've gone through. Not just your business, man, life. You know, I came from nothing. You know, I haven't really shared too much about myself to you guys uh, just because my channel is I try to stay strictly the community uh, and what I'm doing. But uh, I've come from nothing and I've had nothing and actually I've lost everything. It, it's a long story. Uh, it's probably boring and I, I'm, I don't really talk a lot about it, but I've lost everything and I, I had nothing. And so to, you know, and I, and I was basically a nobody, man. You know, I got a regular, I had several little granny jobs. <laughs> And I uh, worked my way up and I don't know, one day I just told myself, I really want to, I want to do this. I want to start my own thing. And to really see you really want something in life. It's one of the th one thing I'm definitely going to try my best to teach and show my son. And if I have more kids down the road, <clears throat> you really... If you want something in life, you, you really just got to put the work in it. You can't be a, you know, you can't just be this. All that is short term. I, I You really just got to, you got to, you got to earn it the right way, the fair way, the honest way. Never go out of your way to fool somebody, to trick somebody, to play somebody. There's, there's just always uh, a way of coming back at you on that. Always try to just be a good person and take care of uh, the people in your life uh, around you and um, be thankful. I'm serious. But definitely going to gonna try to teach my son that if he wants to achieve something in this world, nobody owes him anything. Nobody. And nobody's going to give him anything. There is no such thing as that. You got to work, man, and you got to earn it, and you got to earn your spot in this world. And I think that's the way that it needs to be. So all you ninjas out here, you know, younger ninjas who are thinking about doing this or doing anything, regardless, you know, any kind of business or even if it's just a job, go out there and earn it, ninjas. Don't expect nobody to give it to you. Don't expect your parents, your friend. Don't, nobody owes you anything. 
you got to go get it, man. You want something bad enough and get it. And I've always said, I think I posted it up on Instagram. You're going to, you're going to be successful when you want success as bad as you need to breed. That's when you'll be successful and you'll, you'll do something uh, in your life. But anyway, I wanted to update you on that. didn't mean to get a little emotional. It's just, it's a very uh, touchy subject for me, just where I've come from and what I've gone through and, uh, you know, had nothing. Uh, I was not nobody, you know, my parents didn't have a lot of money and it was, it was not something that, uh, it was given to me or, you know, not, you know, to start this business, I put it on a credit card with my first push mower and, uh, it's, it's just, I've really worked my way. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the reason why I can't really click with a lot of people is because I, I see differently with a lot of others. And, uh, with me, that's, uh, I can't connect like that. Cause I didn't, I wasn't raised like that. And I didn't come from, uh, from some of the things that I'm seeing. So it's just, I don't know, work hard and build your dream, man. That's it. And even if it's a job and I'm not talking necessarily now, just being self-employed, but, uh, even, even talking to, you know, sassy, he agrees, just work hard. It would, no matter what you want to do in life, and and be happy be thankful really is really important and you can call you can come a long way in life you know because if you're thankful and you treat people right you will come a long way you know like for example just just an example real quick and i'm gonna go enough of this but i even told sassy you know uh look i've come a long way in 10 years i don't know what the next 10 years are going to look like for me but I sure as heck am never going to give up. So basically, I, I am going somewhere. I don't know quite exactly where it's at. And I have some plans and ideas. You always want to do that. But I'm going somewhere. And I told him, I said, if you stick around, man, I want you to come with me. You know, so self-employed or you have a job, you know, take care of people. Be a good person. Work hard. And you'll, you'll come a long way in life. Okay, ninjas. Just wrap this up got done here we uh, I'm not gonna walk around I'm whooped <clears throat> but we trimmed everything what we did not get to yesterday because it got real dark and we had to haul all that crap off so there was just a tad bit of stuff that we had to pick up that we had trimmed so there's a little pile right here that I'm just gonna throw in the dump trailer so a lot of you said yesterday in yesterday's video how come I didn't use the dump trailer well because it was short notice like that he uh, it was a last minute decision by him he actually was originally gonna just leave it by the road after talking to him that's what was uh, his idea but <clears throat> then when he thought about it when I talked to him he was like yeah haul it off because what if he has some showings and he doesn't want a huge pile of brush sitting right in front of the house and then uh, waiting on the city or whoever. I guess the city would pick it up. <clears throat> anyway, we're done, guys. It's been quite the day. It's been quite the week. Here's your two minutes with Nature Minute with Sassy. It's a good thing. I only got one, but it's a good one. Okay, all right, just one. Did you know that when elephants see us, uh huh? The same chemicals released in their brain as it is when you see a puppy. That means elephants think we're cute. Are you serious? That's right. And any animal that thinks I'm cute is spot on right. <laughs> spot on. So when they see us humans, mm -hmm. they, the chemical in their brain, a little serotonin, will release the mm -hmm. same that we release when we see a puppy. Yeah. See, they think we're cute. That's a smart animal right there. You can't beat that. Wow. <laughs> That is there. That's real. I did not know that, but that's 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 crazy. Like, what? Yeah. See, I, I normally I don't like any animal bigger than me because they ain't but about four or five. <laughs> but I like them elephants. Now, them animals bigger than me can eat me. So you're not going to go in the ocean. They stuff in there eat you one bite. That's true. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like 55 mile an hour shrimp, knock you out. That's right. Plus we all we tan from here to here. They ain't no tan. I'm just white. Look like a great white shark. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. That's all I got. All right.
Well, there you have it, ninjas. Your nature minute with Sassy. He didn't have another one. I thought he was going to do two because uh, we didn't get a chance to do one yesterday. But you can tell you were tired. That wasn't very enthusiastic. Normally, it's your nature minute with Sassy. I know. I'm, I'm like whooped. I, I, I am whooped. Hmm. I, I've had a long day, but not really the day. It's been a long week, but not even really the week. It's been a long season. And uh, this is usually around the time where I'm ready to just cool off and uh, cut back and gather my energy together and get ready to you know finish the year strong you know we still have one more month basically december this month is pretty much over uh and then you know get my uh goals and and things that i have in in place and in plan uh for next year so you man straight in the winter time is that what you're telling me man straight man straight I don't know what that means. It's like men straighten, but for men, you know, because I, I don't know why it's not called men straighten all across the boards, but you're man straighten. <laughs> See, that way you have slow, tired period where you just feel ugly and fat and just tired and man straighten. Yeah, I don't know if I feel ugly and fat, Sass, but I feel sluggish. See, yeah, you man straighten all. You know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely need a break. It's just been a long. I mean, dude, you've pretty much been with me this whole season, right? Mm -hmm. Since April. Oh, yeah. So not not like right when it started, but literally shortly right after. Mm -hmm. And so you've seen this year. Oh yeah, I've seen some things. Now tell me. Horrible things. <laughs> yes, you have. Now tell me all everything that you've seen, times five or ten, right? Because I've I've gone through some worse years and better years, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just in general, work wise and, and equipment and stuff, but. Can you imagine what you just saw times it by 10 years? You need to go to Vegas. <laughs> Play them slots. Times it 10 years. I've seen a lot and I've gone through a lot and it's been quite the quite the journey through saving green, but I'm looking forward to the next 10 years. I hope so. Yeah. Oh yeah. I am. So it'll be it'll be good. <laughs> Guys, it's getting dark. We're out of here. Thank you for watching and um if I don't make a video, as I mentioned to you earlier, tomorrow, then this is going to be it. And if I do, then it'll be something short. But you can always keep uh, keep a lookout on uh, at Saving Green Lawn Care on Instagram because I will definitely keep uh, the Instagram ninjas up to date of what's going on all week next week. So we'll see you the week after Thanksgiving next Monday. Pump Monday. That's right. I'll be in my stretchy fat pants in all that turkey and this stuff on taters. Woo. You're going to gain some weight right. this whole wear, week. Wear jogging pants next week. <laughs> Bye. Peace.